Okay, let's look for the white cross pieces. So we've got this one, this one, this one, and this one here. So we need to figure out how we're going to insert these and also, well, and deal with this misoriented cross edge here. So how I would do it is I would do a D prime R D2, which solves these two relative to one another and also sets this up, this one up to be inserted into the cross layer. And as we insert this one into the cross layer, we can also insert this one. So if we do an R, that brings this one into the middle layer. Then we do an F, then we do an R, then we do a D, and we've got our cross like that. Now, we need to figure out which F2L pair that we're going to do first. Um, we, can do, we can do this one with a simple kind of algorithm. We can go U prime, F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime, and then insert that one. So that's not too bad. Then we've got these two, which we can insert into the back right slot without a rotation. And as I was doing that, I noticed that these two came into the top layer. So I would immediately go ahead and solve these two next. So I'd probably break them up like that and then insert. And then we've got this last F2L pair where the edge is inserted and we've got this one with the white sticker on top. Like that. Now we have OLL and PLL. Okay, this cross is a little bit more difficult. We've got this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I'm kind of struggling a little bit on a good way to solve this cross. Um, what I might do is I want to try and, ideally I want to try and solve the cross without doing any rotations. So I can do something like this. So if we do L prime, R prime, F, that solves these two. And then these two aren't too bad to do. So we can do R, then D prime U prime at the same time, F R prime D. So that was kind of a long cross and yeah, that's just what happens sometimes. Um, so now we've got these two, which we can insert straight away. And then these two, now what I'll do is actually rotate this way and insert them into the back there. So now I've got my two slots on the left filled. And as I was doing that, I noticed I got this pair in the back, which we can insert very easily. And then we have this F2L case. Um, and I mean, this is a little bit more ad advanced, but what I can do here is actually solve this and orient this last, um, last layer edge. So I can take it out like that and then either do R prime U2R or U R prime UR like that to solve my last F2L pair. Then I've got OLL and PLL. So that was a difficult cross, an easy F2L and a decent last layer. Okay, time for the color neutral solves. And immediately in this scramble, I see that the yellow cross is going to be very easy to solve. So I've got this and these two. These two will just require moves like that to insert. And then before I insert those, what I'm gonna do is actually do an F2 to insert this one so that I can go like that and then align my cross with a D. Then the first F2L pair that I see is this corner and this edge here, which can easily be inserted into this front slot, R prime, U prime, R2, U, R prime. And as I was doing that, I noticed this edge actually went into this back slot and the corner remained up here. Well, the corner came to this position, so I can go R prime, U, R to connect these two and then insert those. Now I've got this F2L case here over on the left-hand side and they need to go into the back left slot. So I can do a U, L prime, U2, L2, U, L2, U, L, like that. And now I've got my last F2L pair here. So I'll rotate, do a U, insert the corner. And then I could do a sledgehammer if I wanted to orient those last two edges, orient this edge and this edge. So that's what I'll do here. Then I've got my OLL and then PLL. Okay, for the next solve, I'll again look around to figure out which cross to do. Um, green looks 
green looks like the most straightforward. So I've got these two already solved, and then I've got this one and this one, this one back here. The most tricky part about this cross is figuring out what to do with this edge. What I would probably do is something like this. So do D prime, F prime to insert this one, and then I've got this one in the, uh, the position here, and I can attach it to the orange center like that. And then it's doing, instead of doing a D prime F, I can do like a Y U prime R. So the last three moves of that cross are R, Y U prime R, like that. And for my first F to L pair, I've got this, this edge and this corner, which are very easy. And hmm, I'm kind of got heaps of options here. I can do these two next. So I'll rotate. I'll do these two next, which again required a rotation. And this last one will also require a rotation. So I've got this case, which can be solved like this. Now I've got OLL. And PLL. Same drill again, let's decide on a cross color. Um, I see I've got an oriented edge on red, and I also do on blue and on white. And based on those three choices, it looks like red is going to be the easiest one to solve. So what I can do is I've got these two, which are already ready to be placed into the cross layer with one move and solved correctly relative to this red and blue one. But I've also got this edge, which I need to take care of. So I can do R, F, R2 to solve these two, and then just do an L2, D like that to finish off our cross. Now the first F2L pair that I'm going to go for is this, are these two. Then uh, I don't have many options. I guess I could go ahead and solve these two, which is kind of annoying because it's not a very nice case. Actually, what I should have done was taken it out like that and then rotated and inserted it into the back there because now I've got my two front F2L slots open. So what I can do here, uh, this is a technique that I teach actually in the advanced tutorial modules, but it's something that I can just show you now just for fun. And you might've seen it before in some other solves, but basically it's called keyhole. So what it is, I've got my F2L corner solved here and I've got this edge which belongs here. Now, if I was going to insert it using the beginner's method insertion, then that would mean I would need to do two rotations and eight moves or more. But in this case here, I've got this edge which needs to go here, and I've also got this empty slot. So what I can do is actually do a D. Now I've got these two junk pieces or unsolved pieces in this slot, so it doesn't really matter what happens to them. And I can just insert this edge such that now when I do a D prime, both the corner and edge will be solved. Because this corner was already solved, doing a D just moves it out of the way. Inserting that edge doesn't affect this corner and then doing a D prime resolves them both. So that's kind of a really, really fast way to handle a case like that. That was only five moves. Now for the last F2L pair, I've got those two. Then I've got OLL and PLL. And we're done.